with Jessica Van Meter. Well, welcome back. We had a cold front move through yesterday with some gusty winds at times behind that much cooler air moving in for today, and that's going to continue as we get into the new week as well. Now, as far as our skies go, we do have a lot of cloud cover this morning. We'll keep some of that throughout the day, but mainly dry for your Saturday. Things do become more active tonight into Sunday in the first half of the new week. We'll see plenty of areas of rain and even a few areas of snow potential, especially for some of those higher elevation areas as the temperatures drop. But with dry Conditions today should be a very fall like day for Air Force football taking on a Navy this afternoon. 1 30 p.m. kickoff time temperatures generally in the 40s. We'll see a few breaks in the clouds. Winds will be a little breezy at times, but at least it will be dry out there for the Falcons and all the spectators as well. So with our cold front, we've got this nice trough, this dip in the jet stream reaching all the way down towards the Mexican border. That's going to be pulling in much cooler air. It's really going to settle over the next several days, and that trough is just going to continue to deepen and pull down more of that colder air. Temperatures are going to be even cooler as we get into Monday and Tuesday for most areas. So far this morning, starting off in the 30s and 40s, right at freezing for Woodland Park, down to 27 degrees in Alamosa, 40 for Colorado Springs, 47 in Pueblo. Temperatures will improve from where they are right now, but not a whole lot throughout the day. We'll make it into the 40s to the higher elevation areas of Teller, northern El Paso County towards Colorado Springs, upper 40s to a low 50s. A lot of those temperatures are going to depend on exactly how much sunshine we actually get to peek through those clouds later on today. Mid 50s around the uh, Pueblo area, more 50s for areas of the plains. We are going to warm a couple degrees heading into tomorrow, but clouds will be building in again tonight with the chance for some showers, and we'll see that chance continuing into Sunday. Chance is going to continue still Monday and Tuesday with those cooler temperatures. Highs only in the 40s for both of those days with some very chilly overnight. So any potential we have, the best potential at least, for any snow to mix in, especially for those areas of northern El Paso County, going to come with us on Monday night. And then Tuesday night, especially if our skies can clear very well, that'll be our best chance at getting towards that freezing mark. Right now we'll go with a low of 33 degrees. Temperatures back into the 50s starting on Wednesday. In Pueblo, dry for today, but much cooler. We'll have lows getting, or highs getting into the low 60s, excuse me, Sunday and Monday. We'll have a chance for showers returning Sunday all the way through Tuesday. Wednesday, finally looking like a nice day heading our way. Canyon City, dry for today. Temperatures in the mid 50s. We'll have the chance for some showers Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Then looking a little warmer after that. With the park in those higher elevation areas, best chance to see that moisture Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Also the best chance to have any snowflakes mixing in. That'll happen mainly through the overnight hours into early in the morning when those temperatures drop two or